session before you today to address this distinguished gathering at our webinar. It's a privilege to welcome all of you, especially our esteemed presenter who are at the heart of this event. It will be ideal if uh, at the start of this activity, we pray for the day's activity to be favorably situated and run smoothly. Let us commence by praying according to our respective religion and beliefs. Let us begin by praying. Berdoa mulai. Okay, thank you. Uh, the first event is the opening by the head of uh, Research Center for Maritime and Land Bio Industry, Dr. Renat uh, Fahruraji. Please, time and screen, uh, it's yours. Pak Fahruraji. Okay, uh, thank you, Pak uh, Zainal, for the opening uh, opening uh, this uh, webinar. I mean, the first, so let me share one slide. Okay, uh, thank you, Pak Zainal, uh, Bu Kiki. So uh, this is the welcome to the webinar series of our research center in marine and land bio industry. And today, this is the, the fourth webinar series of our uh, research uh, center. And we have here one of our uh, guest professor, uh, uh, Professor uh, visiting researchers, Dr. Muhammad Nur uh, Azra, is from a uh, senior researcher in uh, Institute of Climate Adaptation and Marine uh, Biotechnology in uh, University of Malaysia Trengganu. Is uh, very young and uh, 30, 34 year old, but the the high index is was very high is 19 and also uh it an index is about 34 and they have already published more than uh, 19 uh, scientific uh, paper i think it's very uh, young talented uh, researcher from the malaysia we are very happy to have you as one of our uh, visiting researchers uh, dr azra and perhaps we you can uh, inf inspire us to to do how we can do the research and also the uh, publication of a uh, paper so uh now the title of our uh, webinar is a uh, scientometric review uh, writing uh, technique i think for me itself this is something a uh, new technique and and also maybe for for you, but I don't know exactly. So, but centometric uh, review writing paper is uh, now become a trend in 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 the world. This uh, based on the how we can say a uh, quantitative uh, data from the published uh, paper, and then we can uh, make a paper based on this. Uh, based on this uh, scientific uh, data and during the last yeah, few few years no this uh, centometric is very uh, famous and play an important role to measurement and also to analysis the the performance of our uh, research and also how we can develop uh, our research based on uh, centometric data and we know uh, which uh, direction we should uh, do our research. So this is a uh, thought as far as I know, but uh, for more detail, I think uh, Dr. Azra will uh, present their uh, experience in this uh, scientometric uh, paper uh, review. And without uh, further ado, by saying Bismillahirrahmanirrahim, I obviously open this uh, webinar uh, series for from our research center uh, marine and land bio industry thank you okay thank you mr uh, fahru raji uh, now uh, in a world where information 
flow at the speed of light and innovation evolve daily. Webinar like this serve as vital hubs for intellectual exchange. They provide us with the opportunity to pause, reflect, and dive deep into the latest development in our respective field. Furthermore, we jump right into the mid of today event, which is focused on science thematic, like said before, as a one approach to journal writing. Uh, Dr. Kiki will be the moderator for this event. Dr. Kiki, please, time is yours. Thank you very much, Dr. Zainal, and thank you very much for the head of uh, the head uh, of Research Center for Marine and Land Bio Industry. Good morning, distinguished speaker and the participant. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the fourth webinar series of Research Center for Marine and Land Bio Industry, Centometrics Review. Writing Techniques for Marine and Land Bioindustry Research. My name is Kiki Shaputri Handayani. I will be your moderator. I'm a researcher in Research Center for Marine and Land Bioindustry. And this time we will have one hour and 30 minutes to give our attention to the speaker. And we will have 30 minutes um, more or less to have a discussions uh, in this session. The speaker for this webinar is Dr. Muhammad Nor Azra. Uh, he's a visiting researcher brain from University of Malaysia, Tranganu, Institute of Climate Adaptation and Marine Biotechnology, who will discuss scientometric review with us. His corpus H index is a 17, so he has a more than more or less 80. 86 published documents in the Scopus. He's graduate from um, University of Malaysia, Tanganu. His PhD, he is obtained his PhD in 2019. So, uh, and he also has a grant from Ministry of Natural Research Resources, Environment and Climate Change Ministry of Higher Education, and International Partnership Research Grant. And now active in, for three grants in 2023. Okay, um, to begin with uh, this webinar, Dr. Mohamed Azra, the time is yours. Okay, thank you very much, moderator, Dr. Kiki. Uh, Assalamualaikum and greetings to all participants. Uh, welcome. Uh, well, thank you, uh, pa Kapus, uh, the head of the Brin, uh, Flombo, uh, pa Zainal, and all the participants. Okay, let me share screen for the start. Okay. Okay. Uh, so everyone can see my screen. Bugiki, yeah, yes. can I start, yeah? Okay. Okay. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, uh, today I would like to present some of the overview of the cytometric writing. Uh, basically, cytometric workshop, it may take around uh, a month to, 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 uh, to you to be an expertise of this uh, technique, but Today, I would like to just uh, want to share the bigger pictures of the cytometric writing. So, uh, as you can see, here is the, at my back, it's the Islamic Center in Lombok, <laughs> where I'm visiting the Indonesia. Okay, uh, I you can reach me at my emails. Okay, for this one hour, 30 minutes, I will talk uh, only about cytometrics in 30 minutes and there's some interesting activities we can do hands on for one hour after this okay for the review let me start with the bigger pictures what is the cytometric i know everyone uh, some of you know about the cytometric some of you didn't even know what is the definition of the cytometric but let's uh us uh see the bigger pictures what it's uh, all about okay first of all uh why uh, for, as a muslim uh 
we are very motivated by the knowledge itself. For others, religion, I, 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 I believe, uh, most of us believe that knowledge is a powerful tool for us uh, when we get all the, when we uh, involve in the scientific writing, when involved in the scientific uh, field of any field of uh, study. So let me start with the type of article viable in scientific writing. Uh, based on the publisher, uh, based on the journal itself, there are various type of article. They define this type of article with different uh, definitions. And it all depends on the publisher itself, how they interpret uh, the type of article they want. Okay, for example, the original research article which uh, commonly is the primary literature. The data itself generated from the authors or the team uh, research experiments in lab, in hatcheries, or in the wild. The sampling, the survey. So that's a primary literature, primary data. They got it. And most of the article, the primary original research article, they are generated or uh, they are being wrote using the inbred guideline, the introduction, material method, result, and discussion. Even uh, if we uh, saw some papers, we can see uh, they mention it. This is a uh, original research article. This uh, research article, this uh, article, uh, this is this, uh, the definition of original research article. However, there is also a review paper uh, in various scientific journals. Uh, this review paper, the definition of each review paper uh, is depends on the publisher itself, how they want to define uh, what is the review paper, what type of review paper. But basically, most of the review paper, uh, they're using the secondary data, secondary literature. Uh, mostly from the published original research article or the data come itself from the web of science, the database itself, the metabase such as Scopus, uh, Google Scholar, uh, Microsoft Academic, uh, that's all the about the review paper. And there are so many type of review article, review papers, for example, the systematic review, uh, the meta analysis review the traditional review and for us to start the cytometric we call this type of article is a mapping or scoping review okay for the meta analysis they use also the secondary literature they are not uh, they uh, most of the meta analysis review based article they are using uh, less than one thousand article to 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 characterize what is the uh, style of writing they want. They are some meta analysis for traditional review. They are selected uh, based on the research question, but the mapping and scoping review they are based on mostly based on the keyword itself. Okay, let us start about the basic uh, element concept of uh, cytometric uh, based review article. Okay, the definition is basically this uh, the, about the science to metric. Science, science, science is a science, two is outcome. A metric is a something we can be measure, we can measure. So the definition of a cytometric itself is a systematic continuous and comprehensive quantitative data, quantitative study. That's the definition of uh, cytometric itself. So that's a definition. Okay, who will going to use uh, this type of uh, analysis? Mostly uh, early career researcher or even uh, lecturers, uh, researchers uh, who didn't have uh, enough uh, data, primary data, as I said before, uh, or they did, didn't have any grants yet and they want to start uh, writing. Uh, so 
they can use this type of uh, analysis to 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 publish some uh, uh, research, uh, article the review article okay even if not the cytomet uh, the researcher uh, early career researcher uh, uh, lecturers other stakeholders also use uh, this uh, cytometric analysis for example the publisher itself the editor of the article itself they are using the cytometric based analysis to to identify any uh, current issues of the world to, uh, today so they just uh, search any keyword that related to the, what they want to focus about their journals so there's a data itself there so they know the trends okay okay that's the why they're using the cytometric why the stakeholders using the cytometric analysis they want to know the current uh, viable literatures uh, in the database they want to know what the current literature or uh, 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 research about any field of studies uh, they want to know any gaps any uh, problem statement or any trends uh, who are going to do uh, to this uh, to do the research uh, of any field of study so there are various uh, stakeholders using this type of analysis okay uh, this is the distribution of a cytometric based analysis using the site space software so we can use uh, we can see that the some chinese uh, and american start using this uh, type of analysis even brazil start to use this uh, software this this analysis to publish a paper this data is between uh, january to june 2020 okay uh, why those uh, stakeholders use uh, this type of uh, analysis uh, what is the most significant uh, cytometric contribution in the world okay uh, for your information the founder founder of the site space the software that we use to identify the cytometric uh, results visualization visualization uh, they saw that the top two article is the nobel prize in the medicine uh, so they know that everyone refer to this article everyone uh, cited this article so the founders found itself the nobel prize uh, committee used this analysis to identify the who can uh, get the nobel prize in medicine in 2012 so there's a uh, some uh, relationship the, the the significance of the analysis other than publish a paper okay when we use the cytometric uh, for the early career researcher or even the post graduate they used to develop a thesis and even the early career researcher or any uh, lecturer they use this for their development of literature review they want to know for example uh, i'm using a climate change keywords to know uh, which country are uh, more published about the the climate change related research uh, that's some of the basic uh, identification and cytometry will uh, analyze more advanced but i will share after this this just wants to share with you is what is the when uh, we will use this cytometric analysis okay where we will be, uh, start the analysis uh, most of the cytometric review article they will uh, generate the raw data in the scientific database in the world we have a few uh, scientific database such as uh, web of science we have a scopus we have a google scholar that's the, uh, the top three uh, scientific database available in the world so as i said before we need some uh, software to download and to uh, analyze the data we generated from those uh, database okay how to start the cytometric article what did we need to start some writing so of course we need to assess the web of science database itself if i'm not mistaken the brain have uh, paid some good money to the access of web of science even 
we compare to the Malaysian Ministry of Higher Education, we have less uh, number of database we can access in the web science. Uh, but I saw that Brin paid so much uh, funding to this uh, web website because so much article have been generated when I'm a uh, visiting researcher at the Brin. So uh, in the web of science, we use uh, the advanced versions to identify. We need a certain certain keywords, the synonym of the keyword. For example, if I want to search uh, a research about the mouse, I need to identify what is the the common name of the mouse. What is the other country called the mouse? Maybe they call it mice. Uh, some some example uh, of the uh, keyword. Okay, what type of data in web of science that we will use? Okay, this all this the data, the raw data that will be uh, generated from the web of science itself. For example, we have the list of author, we have the title of the articles, we have uh, the source, the journal names, we got uh, the funding agency. We will uh, the, the database also will uh, extracted about some of our uh, open access type of open access article. Uh, they also generated some of the most highly cited articles. So this type of uh, raw data that the database will generate for us to start the cytometric article. Okay, this is the, uh, some of the result generated from the software or site space. The data itself coming from the web of science, this type of data. Okay, this another data that will be used. Okay, this the site space is the software. We need a few, so there are available, there are a few example of the software that we can correlate it with the cytometric. So this time I'm using a site space. The others is a voice weaver, the uh, height space. There's a, the, a few uh, example of the site space, uh, of the software to generate the art, cytometry article. So for now we use a site space software. Okay, this type of software, the founder itself have uh, given it for free for the basic version. If you want to use the advanced version, we, we need to pay a few uh, hundred dollars for the two years uh, using uh, usage. So if we got a few keywords, we can use the basic version. It's okay, it's uh, free, but we need to register an account. The site says the software. Okay, I have a few uh, example of the satometric article that have been published. More, they are because the cytometric uh, analysis is uh, uh, not a novel, but uh, they are start to people start to researchers start to know the advantage of a uh, cytometric analysis. So there are few more sudden booming of the cytometric article uh, in a few previous years. Okay, this uh site space uh the software of the site space itself, the founder of site space. So you can see it's more, much more in depth compared to me, 62, and about 22,000 uh, citations. So this one is the uh, the founders. Okay, this uh, type, okay, uh, the cytometric will generate the descriptive data. Uh, the example of descriptive data is uh, such as the how or uh, who published about the field the active art, the active authors, the active uh, countries publish about the field. The date is some example of the descriptive, and there is another cytometric data, uh, the highly cited. This one, the highly cited uh, authors in the field, and this one is the sudden, sudden uh, area that been conducted based on the keyword. Uh, so they can identify a few more uh, visualized result in the site space uh, using the cytometric analysis. Okay, 
others uh, publisher also the top 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 uh, publisher in the world such as uh, nature publishing group also accepted this type of cytometric uh, analysis cytometric research but mostly they will publish uh, the most uh, novel uh, field so this one they the this paper uh, this authors uh, focus on the oral health literacy we can use uh, different uh, keyword to generate uh, various uh, article in cytometric so the, this type of example, the result generated, uh, this one is the keyword used. You can see in the below section, it's 1991, 1992. This one, the trend of the keyword used from 1991 until 2020. So this type of data set, the, this type of the, uh, result can be generated from that software. Okay, in summary, uh, uh the cytometric analysis first we need to identify the metadata that we use the web of science and then we download the data put in the uh, run it in uh, using the generated software such space and then the software will analyze the result but the result itself we need to interpret by our uh, understanding so you uh so a few researcher of course the expertise in their field of expertise so they they know about what has happened to their field okay uh to start with the site space uh to start the cytometric analysis we need to know the keywords that are going to that we we're going to use okay for example i'm using the climate change uh, related uh keyword so i need to insert in the keyword of climate change uh others uh papers have uh correlate uh have be, uh have uh, identified that climate change keyword such as uh drought the rainfalls a few 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 keyword that related to the climate change itself uh, this type of keyword we need to identify first and then we can uh, generate a data from the web science. Okay, uh, there are a few uh, article structure in cytometrics. As I said before, we have a descriptive and we have a cytometric. Let's start with the descriptive, the qualitative uh, data set. Okay, this uh, this uh, how to structure the articles. Okay, first we have uh, this uh, my style of writing. You can use another style of writing to start the cytometric, but basically I advise that you start with the basic uh, structure of uh, article, uh, uh, title, uh, abstract, keywords. Continue with the introduction, method, result, and discussion. And then you finish it with conclusion. This type of the basic cytometric papers. Of course, you can use other style of writing. This is a basic one. Other article use uh, others name. For example, they review the field in the introduction. And secondly, they use a method, but they rename it with others uh, name. And then they continue with the result and discussion, but they uh, using the name of result and discussion as a trend in scientific studies. They, they use another name uh, for this section. Okay. Okay, another style of writing. Okay, this the summary of the cytometric process. It's very easy, but we need to try uh, to ourselves. So, of course, we need to identify keyword and we need to use a software and then they publish the result. So we, we need to uh, interpret the writing. The, that, okay. I think we will start the hands-on activities. Let me show you some of the example of how I start the hands-on activities of uh, web science. Okay, first of all, we need to the Web of Science database. 
Bu, uh, Dr. Kiki, can you see my screen of Web of Science? Yes, we okay. can see. Okay, this one. Okay, let uh, me show you. Let me show you how to start the first step. We need to web uh, to go to the web of science, and we need to go to the advanced advanced search. Okay, we need to identify the topic. Okay, let me start with the few example. For example, I want to search about the aquaculture related articles. So I click add to query and add to history. So the aquaculture keyword, when I'm using the web of science, they generated about 56,621 total article. Okay. From the 56,621 article, we want to exclude a few uh, type of article because we want to know what happened to our field of uh, expertise. For, for example, I'm using aquaculture. I want to know what other uh, researcher doing in aquaculture uh, field. So I just click. I just want the original research article. I will exclude all the proceeding papers, review article, book chapters, data paper, other this book review book. So I exclude this one. I just want to the article, original research article. So exclude it. Okay. From uh, previously, we got uh, about 58,000. So the web of science have uh, exclude another article that not related to the original research article. So I got 45,000 45, articles that related to the aquaculture keyword. But we need to exclude also a few uh, option that we, did, we didn't uh, understand. For example, the language. Okay. From the 55,000, there are a few articles that have been uh, in other uh, language. So we didn't know about the other language. We use uh, the standard language, the English. So I will exclude all the articles that have been written other than English. So the total paper now is 44,339 articles. Okay. I mean, we are we using this 44,339 article. So the raw data will be generated in the plain text file. Okay. What type of art, what type of data that we need to download? There are few selection. So I'm using the full record and cited references. So what have we what do we have in full record and cited references? There are a few uh as, as I say as I say before, this uh the type of few full record and cited references. They will download the author name, title, the title of the article, the journal names, the how how many times they have been cited, the references itself, and the abstract and the keywords. This so I'm using the full record inserted references. Okay, they only allow us to download 500 record at a times. So this uh, an example. So I exported the raw data. Okay. Okay, this an example of the raw data. There are a few articles few uh, cited references for, for for example we start with the authors with the first the first article have been written by the z the article the keyword the title is the development and prospect for organic aquaculture worldwide they has been cited by various authors 
uh, okay the others here yeah. so so there's so much more data in here this is only for the one until 500 article but we need to to continue download until we reach the 44,339. So I will skip that part. I just want to show you how I downloaded the, 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 the raw data. So 44,339. Okay. So this uh, example, the last, the last data, so I export it. Okay. Okay, I will use those uh, data, uh, the metadata, this uh, plain text file in my software. So I'm re I will open the site space software. I'm using the advanced version. So I paid around 100 uh, USD dollar to use this in two years. And they require us to register based on our emails and they and the founder will detect the ip address so there's some process okay this uh the site space uh software that i will use to visualize the data that i generated from website excuse me dr azra the screen is in the ppt oh okay sorry so I start share screen again. My okay, this one, the software. Okay, can you see my screen, Dr. Kiki? Yes. The okay, size. Let space. me start. Okay. Let me close it first. Okay. Okay, I'm using the space software. Can you see the screen? Okay. Uh, it says so, still the black screen, right? Okay, and then the site space software. Okay. Okay. So I'm inserting my ID, my email. Okay. So the the software will need to uh, link with the internet. So yeah, I'm using the aquaculture keyword. So I will open. I will move my raw data. Previously, I downloaded it. These two raw data. I will move to this screen for you to see. And I create a new folder entitled Aqua uh, Culture. So I will create another project folder in the data folder. So I move these two raw data to the data project, the, to the data folder. So the project folder will be used to, to generate the, the figures. So project home, project files, the aquaculture and the project. So the data, I'm using the data. So this one is the standardized uh, standardized numbers that have been uh, automatically set. So you just save it. Okay. And let's see the previous. Okay, this one. Let's see publication years start from 19, 1975 and and to 2024. Okay, let's see 1975 until 2024. The month is January. Okay, this this type of uh. Let's see. Okay, this one is the site space software. They will uh, conducted a few analysis. For example, we have the outers 
co-authorship network. So the software will analyze the authors, uh, the all authors involved in the article published about the aquaculture, their relationship between each art, uh, each authors. If there any relationship uh, on the authors from China to America to Indonesia, so they can identify what is the current trend. Uh, is there any uh, authors have been collaborate with uh, the Europe countries? Uh, this type of uh, data they can uh, analyze. Also, same goes to the institution. Uh, which institution is mostly uh, active, published about the about the aquaculture article? So they can identify that. Uh, the software can identify that type of article, that type of uh, results. Uh, also, the software will analyze which is the most uh, referred institution about the aquaculture uh, article, aquaculture research. So, they, uh, the software will identify it also. If you choose the country, the software will also identify which country most republish about the aquaculture research. And of course, the software also can identify which country are more collaborate more about the aquaculture. Same or go, same also goes to the keyword, what keyword how to use in the articles. So the software will analyze that. Uh, most of the article use what type of keyword. They can also analyze it. The reference list. Okay, let me start with the keyword first. So this. Uh, hands-on activities about the aquaculture, the related keyword. So I need to rename. So they said that I need to rename my uh, my data in this type of name. So I just rename this desktop aquaculture data. So I need to rename this with the download one until 500. So if you have the data from 45,000. So you need to start download one by one and rename it continuously to 1,000. And, and then you need to rename it until you reach the required number, 45,000. And my, our last, 44,399. Okay. Uh, just, I want to show you the example. Uh, if we have a 45,000 articles, so we divide it, how many, uh, how many text files that we need is 45,000 divided by the 500. So we need to download about 19 different data, 19 different text files. I just show you the two data, two text file so you need to download another nine uh, 88 so that's i just want to show you the example i just uh wants to show okay this they will identify the data the uh, the software will analyze it and they will generate a few uh, figures such as the, my previous project is about grouper. So this I will want to share to show you this type of figures that we start with the countries. Okay, this is the example of the figures generated from the software of site space. Uh, we need to interpret these figures by ourselves, but basically the USA is the most uh, published countries about the grouper and France also with the size of these figures. So this one is the collaborative countries. There's another name for this one, for this one, but we have setting, we have to set, to set some, some uh, setting to limit that a few countries will involve is in this. Okay, this one is the authors. 
Okay, this one is the keyword. Uh, countries, references, field of study, uh, the institution, and the cluster. So, the cluster, uh, basically, uh, in, for the layman uh, definition, this one is, we have a 40, uh, for example, grouper, we got uh, about uh, 20,000 article. They, they differentiate those article based on the title of the article. So most of the article using orange spotted grouper in their articles. Okay, so we can identify that orange spotted grouper have been widely used for the grouper research related uh, project. This one of the example of the cluster. Okay, also the cluster for the grouper. Okay, so this example, the, the software will generate such a uh, visualization. Okay, let's we saw some examples here. They, they will take time to generate su such data. So I just show you another. Okay, so this one is the how the uh, software works. Okay, this is uh, there's a few more to start, but this uh, just want to show you how it does. Okay, let me continue with the. Okay, this one, this one. Okay, the data as I show you. The advanced, which, the advanced search and we need to use uh microsoft excel to to uh, to to generate some uh, descriptive analysis you can also use r if you want and this one is the uh, figures generated from the website itself this type of article the categories the publication years so this type of uh, example, uh, how you can uh, writing some information about the publication years. So this one is the country. Uh, this one is the example how to generate the descriptive data. So we can, I can show you how to Okay, this one, the analysis is all. So this, the, let we try countries. Okay, this example, the China is the most active countries working about the aquaculture. For the USA, Spain, Norway, Australia, Canada, Brazil, Italy. So the, most of the Europe countries using a keyword of aquaculture in web of science. So this is a list of countries that using the, this one is a top 25 countries. So if one, there's 191, 191 different countries or state that are working on the aquaculture. So the raw data is viable in web of science. You just click all download, all data rows and download the data table in the uh, text files. Okay, this list, you can cut it and you can paste in the Excel to, to develop the figures. I just show you the example. So this is a list of raw data uh, about the aquaculture. You can see here, China, most early year, we got Indonesia, a top 35. This is uh, an example how to generate such a uh, result from the web of science okay what we have here now just let me close it close it okay what we got it uh, okay this one is the step okay for the countries we can uh, generate it through the excel itself oh this one is the example how you want to write the data the result the analysis, okay. There are a few cytometric, the top cited keyword, 
how to write this is the template i just show you how to 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 uh, interpret the results so the discussion yeah that's that's all dr kiki thank you thank you very much dr azra i believe that uh, this science metric will be fruitful for our uh, technical responsibility as a researcher in brain or uh, in national research and innovation agency actually uh, i would like to ask you to summarize this presentation in melayu dr azar could you please help us to summarize this um this presentation in melayu please dr azar before we open the discussion session. Okay. Okay, terima kasih Bu Kiki. Jadi uh, saya akan summarikan uh, apa itu cytometric. Cytometric uh, dia adalah cara analisis uh, data daripada scientific database untuk kita menulis uh, review artikel. Jadi dia boleh digunakan oleh sesiapa sahaja dalam mana-mana bidang untuk menulis apa-apa sahaja artikel. Cuma kita perlu uh, faham kita punya bidang sendiri. Sebagai contoh, kalau saya bidang climate change, saya perlu tahu uh, apa yang berlaku, uh, apa apa benda climate change itu sebenarnya, saya kena tahu apa keyword yang sesuai untuk saya nak buat artikel tentang climate change. Uh, jika data-data uh, daripada cytometric itu keluar, Uh, contohnya kalau aku kaca dia ada keluar kluster breeding technology tu. Jadi saya sebagai expertise climate change saya kena tahu apa kaitan climate change dengan breeding technology. Jadi untuk kita nak buat artikel review cytometric, yang pertama sekali kita kena expert bidang kita dan kita kena tahu keyword dan kemudian kita boleh start writing. Sebab kalau kita tak expert kita susah nak interpret data yang telah keluar daripada cytometric itu dan daripada descriptive result yang uh, web website bagi. Descriptive result tu mudah aja sebab yang um, data tu uh, straightforward uh, daripada web website sendiri. Jadi kita boleh tahu yang descriptive punya contoh macam jumlah uh, apa ni publication ber berkaitan dengan aquaculture uh, kita tengok tadi China paling banyak. Jadi kita boleh andaikan yang China mempunyai coastal area yang besar. Jadi dia orang boleh banyak buat uh, research pasal apa kaca. Tu deskriptif punya data daripada web website yang kita sendiri sebagai expert kita pun boleh uh, apa ni interpret dia. Tapi kalau dalam cytometric nanti dia ada few dia ada beberapa result yang kita sendiri sebenarnya kena tahu uh, kenapa tiba-tiba dia keluar result macam tu. Uh, jadi contohnya kalau cluster kan kalau apa kaca tadi kita ada jumpa satu cluster berkenaan dengan uh, disease. Okey. Kenapa disease tu boleh keluar kat culture? Ha, jadi kita sebagai expert kita tahu yang kebanyakan aquaculture ada problem tentang disease. Ah yang tu yang sebagai contoh saya nak bagi uh, kenapa kita perlu expert sendiri bidang kita untuk buat satu materi artikel ni. Okey, Ibu Kiki, terima kasih. Thank you very much Dr. Azra. Uh, saya rasa Bapak dan Ibu sudah paham apa yang sudah disampaikan oleh Dr. Azra and I would like to summarize in English as well. Um, the first, I I will say that this this will be helps um, the researcher who doesn't get a grant had to have a published paper, as well as uh, we need to have a target annual target. So we need to write paper every year, at least once paper one paper in a year. In recent, year, in year, recent years, it has come to play a major role in the measurement and evaluation research performance of science metrics. So uh, science metrics history was first defined by Nalimov, Nalimov right, Dr. Azra? Uh, in 1971, as developing the quantitative method of the research on the development of science as an inform informational process. It can be considered as the study of the quantitative aspects of science and technology seen as a process of communications. And the first step 
for the science metrics uh, is uh, we can open or we can access web of science. Uh, for the information, web of science is limited access. So some of us cannot access the web of science um, completely in our in our house. I mean, we need to access the web of science in brain area so we can make a full version of the web of science. That's why sometimes uh, we uh, we need to go to brain every day because we need to access the web of science completely. So the first is search and then uh, export the keywords and also Dr. Azra already explained about how to make, uh, how to find the keywords, especially in the space, the name of the species. So we can find in FAO as well, right, Dr. Azra? And also we, we need to use SiteSpace software. I know this uh, webinar is not enough to, to teach all of participants how to make this first step and then the, to do the next step and then the third step until we can do this uh, by our own. But then this is the introduction of Scientometrics. If you have any questions and as well as you need to more uh, to, you need to learn more about the scientometric uh, review steps so we can ask Dr. Azra. Okay, the discussions uh, will be open for the first uh, questions. For uh, ladies and gentlemen, you can write the questions both in English or Bahasa. So, or you can raise hand to ask the question directly to the speaker. Please participant, you can ask questions. Especially basic questions, we can also um, make a discussion. I mean, it's not only about the techniques or uh, about maybe about the university or the environment in the university, how Dr. Azra can right prepper uh, almost 20 every year so we can get a conversation with Dr. Azra <laughs> because he's in his expertise so we can a uh, discussion okay Bap Bapak Fauzan uh, you can ask questions directly to the speaker yeah thank you Bukiki can you hear me, right? Yes, we can hear you clearly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, hi, Pazra, good to see you again. Sorry, I cannot uh, show my face right now. Uh, so I think I, 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 I want to ask some basic question. So this kind of paper uh, depends on what others researcher uh, publish uh, the article. So you mentioned before you, you in your hands-on script uh, before you use the keyword of aquaculture and it generate like 56,000 if I not wrong. So uh, it's, it's, is it a lot 56,000? And what if we want to like, uh, search some very narrow topic. So let's say aquaculture for um, like uh, scallop, only scallop or for some species of scallop, if it, uh, the result is kind of like maybe 500, 1000, is it enough uh, quantitatively speak? Is it any 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 number we should have to uh, to for? I mean, is there any number called sufficient for this scientometric? Maybe okay. that's question. Okay. Uh, thank you, Pak Fauzan, about the very interesting question. So let me start with the 
the minimum number required from the web of science database uh, i i just uh, in few years back i try few keywords uh, on how many uh, is acceptable for the site space so based on my uh, my own research i saw that there is a minimum 1000 total article downloaded from the web of science for example let me share screen again. Okay, if Park Pausen say that aquaculture in scallop, so we need to identify the aquaculture keyword itself. We got uh one two. We got fifty six thousand article about aquaculture. If Park Fauzan want to uh, correlate the aquaculture with the scallop, so we need to identify the scallop name that being used in the world. For example, I just use scallop, scallop uh, species. So I just use one species, for example. So I just uh, Combine that, that we use pectin maxima. So this one, I just add another scallop name that viable in the world. So if Park Fawzan wants to uh, combine the scallop aquaculture, so these two type of species, uh, uh, species name, uh, the species and the common name. If uh, we, if, but for then decide to use all the species, just add all the species name here. I just want to show you the example of aquaculture scallop focus on the pectin maximus. So I just add this and add to the history. So there is about 8,622 related article published about scallop focus on the pectin maximus species. So what? Do you think if I can combine both, how many articles? So six, seven hundred and thirty-six. Uh, so it's not enough to uh, run the set space, but it's enough for the descriptive. But for the cytometric, uh, we need a minimum of one thousand article for the software to identify the various type of data, various type of analysis. So this one. We got 726, so it's not acceptable to uh, cytometric, but it's acceptable to descriptive only. So that's an example. The number is minimum is uh, 1,000, and there is no limit. Uh, if you can download uh, about uh, 1 million articles, so you need to <laughs> download every day the 1 million article. Uh, can you imagine 1 million? divided by the 500 maximum you need to download 2000 different file i can't imagine it so i just uh, set myself i just uh, use a maximum 100000 so i will download about 200 uh, 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 the raw data is a acceptable number uh, 100000 Okay, that's all. Mukiki. Thank you, Pak Fauzan. Yeah, so, okay, so, so the limitation is on the site space application, right? Not yeah, to yeah. the like public, the publisher, the journal, or something. Uh, yes, no. Okay. Maybe that's Thank all. You. Thank you, Fazra. Thank you very much, Pak Fauzan. Is there any questions? And Pazra, I would like to ask um, uh, some questions. Actually, you already explained about the differences between bibliometrics and scientometrics, but uh, some people want to um, more details about the, the, the differences or the point both of the review. What kind of difference? Before we okay. go to the next two questions. 
Okay, thank you Bu Kiki. Uh, there is two different criteria between the bibliometric so uh, bibliometric analysis and cytometric analysis. First of all, of course, the name of biblio and the name of cyto. The biblio means that there is only uh, descriptive data. Uh, they only focus the analysis only focus about the descriptive the quantitative uh, just the quantitative uh, for example the country's author title uh, funding agency that's all the 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 the, the descriptive uh, but the cytometric they identify more uh, more focus uh, for example more uh, com more complex the cytometric so uh, that's the difference between Biblio uh, and Saito. Biblio is Biblio have a limitation. They cannot uh, generate a few uh, visualized graph uh, in the complex manner. So that's the difference, Bukiki. Okay, you mean uh, bibliometric use different software, but uh, centrometric use site space software to analyze the uh, the quantitative data, right? The quantity data, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, we can go. Thank you very much, Dr. Azra. We can go to the next question from uh, Dr. Firdaus first, please. Uh, sorry, Pak Firdaus. <laughs> I would like to say Dr. Zainal, then Dr. Firdaus. <laughs> but then, Pak Firdaus, please. This is our doa. I mean, okay. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you very much, Bu Kiki. Uh, good morning, Dr. Azra. Good morning, Pak Bidaus. Yeah, nice to see you again. Um, yeah. I have uh, one small question uh, related to your experience in publishing a uh, scientometric uh, article. And maybe you can also uh, give us uh, tips and tricks. Uh, what I want to ask is during the uh, review process, uh, what kind of uh, question or suggestion uh, provided by a reviewer uh, to improve uh, the scientometric uh, paper? Uh, the most common uh, question, suggestion, and uh, maybe uh, something that we really need to address uh, to make sure that our paper can be accepted uh, by reviewer and by the uh, publisher. I think that's all from me. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Pak. That was a very interesting uh, question. Uh, I have published about uh, 30 uh, related cytometry article. Uh, based on the 30 different uh, article, I can share that most of the reviewer uh, didn't uh, what we call it, they under some of the reviewer understand about the cytometric concept, but some the, they didn't understand it. Maybe there is a limitation about it. For example, uh, some reviewer asked, "Why didn't you use the soft uh, the database as uh, uh, Scopus? Why didn't, didn't you use uh, Google Scholar? There's much more article in it, but there is a few reviewer that didn't know that." different database uh, generated different type of uh, data for example if we, we if we use uh, web of science i can say you that i i just show you previously there are few type of uh, data that been generated but in scopus there another uh, different type of uh, data generated so we cannot combine both database we only use one uh, database to identify the trend so uh, for the Google Scholar, Google Scholar didn't have any uh, raw data in the type of authors, uh, list of authors, list of uh, cited references, list of keywords. They just only have the uh, full record of the article. They didn't have any uh, type of data that we need to uh, run the cytometric analysis. So that's one, uh, the limitation uh, of the database. Uh, the reviewer comment about using another database. That, that's the one. The second one is the limitation of the software. So the software cannot uh, run uh, 
in ro lo lo apa? low resolution of a uh, laptop uh, or the 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 hardware itself so they need about a uh, 6 uh, gig of the ram to to run the software because there are so much data there's about uh, if we download 20000 articles there of course a minimum cited references is 200000 so there are few few ram can uh, need to be used so there's a uh, one one example uh, the review comment the others is uh, it's not very uh, because it's a new technique so some reviewer just comment the database and oh yes another one is the the length lengthy of the review uh, article uh, most of my article about the cytometric have been written about 10000 articles uh, 10000 words one of the reviewer comments that i may need to remove some descriptive uh, data because it can be viable in the web science itself. So I remove all the data, descriptive data. I just show the cytometric analysis there. So that's one uh, good of reviewable comment. Yeah, that's all. Thank you, Dr. Pavidaos. Thank you, uh, Dr. Azra. Thank you very much, uh, Pak Firdaus and Dr. Azra for the explanation. Is it enough, Pak Firdaus? Yes. Okay, thank you very much. And um, okay, the next question is from our MC, Dr. Zainal, please. Yeah, thank you, Dr. Kiki. Uh, allow me to introduce myself. Dr. Azam, my name is Zainal Arifin. Uh, allow me to speak in Bahasa, ya. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Flow. <laughs> uh, pengalaman, uh, Sebelum setahun sebelum sebelumnya saya juga pernah menggunakan atau metode review ini uh, eh, review yang tadi disebutkan seperti yang tradisional meta analisis dan sekarang saya sedang mencoba untuk yang uh, centometric ini dari pengalaman pengalaman sebelumnya sebenarnya uh, kendala terbesar itu banyak jurnal yang uh, tidak menerima review kecuali undangan nah mungkin ada tips and tricks jurnal-jurnal uh, uh, mana saja yang menerima Lalu yang kedua tadi tentang set space, I, uh, now I try uh, the for free, the limitation is for the 300 journal, it is the limit, uh, tapi yaitu apa set space bisa digunakan secara bersama. Because tadi seperti yang dikatakan Dr. Kiki, ini sangat berguna bagi kita yang sekarang sedang dikejar deadline atau sedang dikejar untuk uh, membuat SKP. Uh, lalu mungkin yang saja tadi, kalau tidak salah di set space itu sebenarnya ada satu output lagi tentang Uh, station burst mungkin uh, bisa dijelaskan apa itu station burst ini dan apakah itu uh, apa keyword yang sering muncul atau seperti apa maybe that, uh, thank you for the time ya yeah, oke okay. terima kasih Dr Zainal Arifin Pak Zainal uh, bagus juga soalan yang selalu saya terima juga kadang-kadang uh, jika saya present berkenaan uh, satometrik uh, beberapa orang selalu tanya Kebanyakan jurnal tak terima lah uh, apa ni paper kita sebab dia unik dia dia tak 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 mungkin antara sebabnya dia orang tak faham lagi sebab dia baru nak start uh, terkenal sikit uh, artikel ni okey antara tip-tip yang saya belajar juga kalau uh, apa kita pakai cytometric uh, paper artikel ni uh, kita yang pertama kita tengok Uh, top authors dalam kita punya data tu kita tengok contoh eh ada pernah sekali saya buat satu artikel kita tak tahu dah nak submit mana lagi paper kita kita pergi tengok dekat uh, top authors tu ada certain certain authors yang sebenarnya dia editor in chief ataupun dia editorial board journal tu ha kat situ antara tip-tip yang saya rasa tu mahal lah tu nak nak bagi tahu <laughs> yang mana kalau kita dapat identify Contoh editor in chief tu adalah terkenal dalam bidang dia dan dia ada dia adalah editor in chief journal ni. So secara tak langsung editor in chief tu uh, saya rasa 50-50 pun akan terima paper tu sebab dia memang nak dia nak popularkan dia punya bidang, nak popularkan dia punya nama kan. Jadi saya tak langsung itu ada antara tip-tips yang saya nampak uh, berkesan lah uh, untuk nak pilih journal. Okay. 
uh, yang keduanya antara tips yang saya belajar adalah uh, kita down, uh, kita tengok daripada uh, data deskriptif tu juga kita tengok contoh kalau kita run keyword uh, aku akan cerita tadi kan Pak uh, Tena kita tengok journal title tu kita tengok oh rupanya journal ni yang banyak publish tentang kita punya bidang Uh, antaranya itulah kita, uh, saya cuba tapi memang tak dinafikan Pak uh, Pak Zainal. Saya rasa kalau saya submit satu paper tu 5 6 kali kena reject uh, kebanyakan artikel. Mula-mula lah. Tapi lepas lepas tu kita dah belajar macam mana kita pilih jenis yang terbaik untuk publish paper akhirnya. Ah uh, itu dia punya tips eh. Okey, yang kedua adalah site site space. Okey. Dalam site space ni dia ada beberapa uh, option untuk kita langgan. Yang pertama basic yang basic tu adalah seribu artikel dan ke bawah. Dia ada lagi yang tengah-tengah uh, tu. Dia macam bagi uh, akses. Dia, dia tak ada limit uh, nombor. Cuma dia ada limit uh, berapa lama boleh pakai dan berapa komputer boleh pakai. Uh, yang yang tu yang ke yang tengah-tengah. Dan yang sekali last sekali advance. Dia advance ni dia boleh pakai untuk dua komputer dan dia tak ada minimum number of uh, apa ni jumlah artikel. Nak seratus juta pun boleh. Uh, tapi memang kena ada RAM yang besar lah untuk nak run tu Kadang-kadang kalau uh, saya punya artikel hari tu RM60,000 kau 6 jam saya tunggu untuk dia run satu gambar tu Ah uh, Saya kata, oh ni jam-jam uh, Tu antara salah satu uh, apa requirement lah Saya rasa uh, kena kena ada komputer atau laptop yang yang ada apa RAM yang besar Untuk dia nak cepatkan proses uh, generate data tu kan Okay, data set space dalam citation burst Okay, dalam citation burst Okay, kalau contoh eh kalau saya guna keyword aquaculture kan ada 56000 artikel. Okey, dalam 56000 artikel tu ada contoh dia 10 artikel yang terkenal. Terkenal ni juga di lebih dikenali sebagai citation burst a uh, Pak Zainal. Uh, citation a uh, yang artikel tu tadi burst tu maksud dia uh, contoh kalau paper tu dipublish pada tahun uh, 2010 Okey, dia tak terkenal. Dia tak terkenal lagi tahun 2011. Dia tak terkenal lagi 2012. Tiba-tiba 2013 dia terkenal. Boom. Dia burst. Dia tiba-tiba daripada satu dua citation, dia dapat 100 citation. 200 citation. Ah tu contoh dia citation burst Pak Zainal. Tiba-tiba dia mendapat uh, citation yang banyak dalam satu-satu masa. Uh, saya tak tahu uh, sebab dia kenapa. Yang, yang tu yang kadang-kadang kita perlu faham kita punya bidang. Uh, mungkin tiba-tiba, oh dia kena, dia dapat, uh, apa ni? Auto ni dapat, uh, Identify satu method yang novel. Mula-mula orang tak faham method tu. Ataupun mula orang tak terbaca dia punya paper tu. Tiba-tiba dalam setahun dua tahun, orang mula ikut method tu dan akhirnya orang tu publish dan dapat citation. Kan Biasanya kalau kita publish paper, tak pada hari tu dapat citation. Mungkin selepas setahun dua tahun baru dapat citation sebab orang nak follow method kita, dia nak publish pula makan masa. Ha, tu yang tiba-tiba dia panggil citation burst tu. Dia tiba-tiba terkenal. Okay. Itu Pak Zainal. Terima kasih okay. atas soalan. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay, thank you very much for the explanation. Some people may not understand in Melayu, but then uh, we can hear it. Uh, I mean, the tips and tricks is generally it's about the editor in chief as well, uh, Pak Azra, right? And then also some uh, tips. It's uh, we need to find more about the authors, and also we need to. Uh, get an information that some people uh, about this citation burst. But uh, could you please uh, explain more about this citation burst in English, Pak Azra? Okay. Uh, thank you, Bu Kiki. Uh, first, that Pak Zainal asked us is about the the rejection of the articles. Uh, most of the cytometric article cannot be accepted in uh certain certain journal but the tip is we need to identify the for my previous experience i saw some uh, editor in chief uh being uh popular in their field so i saw he is one of the editor in chief so i submit a papers there and eventually he happy and he accepted the article <laughs> say some these are some of the tips uh the second question is about the site space the site space uh elements uh in the software we call it citation burst citation is the references 
and burst is the booming the sudden booming the sudden suddenly being popular uh, that's we call it citation burst uh, is some of the article have been suddenly cited in a few back years uh, for example they published in 2010 suddenly they got a huge they got major citation in 2012 so that we call it citation burst uh, bukiki thank you okay thank you very much for the explanation pak azra and is there any questions we have uh, still we still have more time i mean we will end this webinar in 10:30 so we still have much time i mean uh, for the questions we can also ask the same uh, not the same questions but the same um this uh, the the kind of the presentation that's Pa Azra already explains, but some if some people could not understand about the presentation, we can you can ask in this session. But uh, I see um, from Fisheries Research Center. Pa Dwi, is there any questions? Or from Pa Mo. Mo. Wait, wait, wait. Mo Rosidi. Is there any questions? Because Pa Mo Rosidi uh, were asking me about the presentation. Is there uh, the? I mean the file. He asked about the files of your presentation, Pazra. Is it possible if we have the file of your presentation later after this webinar? Oh, yes, yes. Uh, of course. Uh, oh, Kiki. Okay. I can I can share the, the slides. Yeah, you can share the, the... to us after the webinar. After okay. The webinar. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, if we can wait for the questions, I mean, if the people still busy, or uh, I will, I would like to ask more questions, Pa Azra. <laughs> uh, this actually from um, my college. So the second question is about: Is the database of four scientometrics only from walls? Uh, from web of science or how about this corpus database or usually we can also use both of them but you prefer web of science could you please explain us about that yeah okay i just say the slide in the chat so everyone can download it okay thank you okay. very much uh, for the recommendation of either use web of science or scopus okay the tip is uh the web of science is the database provided by the clarivate analytic the company that uh, produce the impact factor of the journal so the scopus uh the company from Elsevier, they uh, established the journal ranking based on the quartile uh, but it's not about the the impact factors. It's more about the site score. So I'm prefer using the web of science database because most of the article are the uh, impact factors journal. So most of the publisher are happy to cite the uh, references available. Uh, references that are being listed in the web of science rather than scopus that's the tips so that's why i'm using before my start of the uh, writing in 2019 i'm just uh read few papers say about the cytometric some of the authors some of the, of the editors uh more recommend the web of science database because they are more chance to increase the general impact factor of the publisher so that's why i just decide 
from that day, I'm using the web of science rather than Scopus because Scopus uh, is the uh, some uh, if the company did not produce the impact factor, they produce the site score. So that's a different between Scopus and web science. Of course, the other different is the web science uh, database in the type of uh, metadata. And Scopus also, they have another metadata, but uh, there's a different uh different uh type that we need to understand so i'm not very familiar with the scopus metadata but i prefer a uh, web science that's that's the, the the reason uh bukiki okay so you prefer web of science doesn't mean that we cannot do in scopus right yes right. yes okay um there is a confirmation questions as well <laughs> for the uh it's it's kind of the things that the same questions before it's both of bibliometrics and science to metrics what do you mean by biblio cannot generate complex data since if we use r and force fire force fewer we could also see how the topics involves from the time to time and cluster the topic as well. Could you please explain about uh, both of them? Okay, thank you, Bukiki. I, I know some of us have been uh, conducted a cytometric uh, analysis, the bibliometrics and the cytometrics. Okay, uh, let me show you the cytometric uh, result. As I said before, the bibliometric is more like a descriptive data, if I'm not mistaken. But the cytometric is more uh, complex. I mean complex is the uh, this one. This this uh, three types of network. The co-authorship network, the network co-author institution. Let me share screen first. Bukiki. Sure, please, Bazra. Okay, uh, okay. This one is a site space uh, software. They, uh, the the software will generate the cytometric analysis, the cytometric uh, result, the cytometric the the result in the paper. It, we have a uh, descriptive and cytometric, but for bibliometric, we have a bibliometric result. The bibliometric result they also uh have a uh, auto Co citation network, institution network, country network, keyword. But uh, if I'm not mistaken, the bibliometric they didn't have the reference uh, uh, network. Uh, also, they all know also the bibliometric also didn't have any uh, cluster network. Uh, that's that's the difference between biblio and cytometric bukiki. If I'm not mistaken, I'm not familiar with the bibliometric, but I saw some of the result. They didn't have the cluster uh, network, so there's a few, only a few uh, different difference. But yeah, author can use the biblio or either side too. It's okay. Okay, thank you very much, Pa Azra. It's uh, it's clear. Yeah. And is there any questions? Or we if we do not have any questions, we will end this webinar. Five or ten minutes left, or we can also discuss about um, the other things out of topic. I mean, uh, out of this uh, scientometric as well. And what about? <laughs> I would like ask questions again. What about if the? I mean the. The topic it's not familiar. Uh, the scope, the scope is not familiar from for the one topic. Uh, for example, it's it's about physics, um, physics theory, and there's no review paper or there's no scientific scientometrics review paper before. So, is it possible if we write scientometrics review paper concerning the as scopes and we submit into the journals. I mean, if uh, for aquaculture or for fisheries, scientometric is common, 
but for the other topic it's not common or it's uncommon it's is it possible if we submit the paper or we write scientometric review paper if it's not in common um, about the scientometric review in that topic oh yes yes uh, thank you kiki mm -hmm. i think for those who are not familiar with the feel mm -hmm. i'm advised that they didn't uh, wrote it because it will the editor will know uh, the editor will check is either the author is uh, the expert in the field so it will reduce the percentage of the acceptance so i advise that everyone who didn't uh, expertise in the field to to write uh, to write something cytometric in other field so Oh, as uh, Bukiki explained that if we from the aquaculture based uh, field, so we can uh, wrote some of the aquatic related uh, cytometric paper, but we cannot uh, simply wrote about the physics related uh, field because we will need some of the uh, required keywords during the searching of the keyword that's i think uh, that's a limitation uh, of us to wrote another field if we didn't uh, expert in the field bukiki because uh, cytometric article we need to explain what happened what is the current uh, situation ha happened in the field uh, who is the most uh, uh, popular knowing of what this uh, this field i think it's not a very good or for someone who didn't expertise in the field to wrote something out of their field yeah thank you oh okay but i mean my questions is uh if some someone will uh, will write the scientometric paper but he saw that there's no one wrote uh about scientometric is it possible if we if he writes the scientometrics review oh okay uh you means that if someone didn't publish hmm. the there's articles. no one published oh yeah yeah, uh, yeah yes, yes. of course of course in of course that if field. yeah yeah of course of course if you didn't re uh, write some oh okay uh, if someone didn't wrote auto or didn't publish about for example uh, coconut oil so we check in the online database we check in the google scholar someone didn't even publish about coconut oil cytometric review yes of course we can publish it but you need to wrote it fast because i saw some of the my friends my college uh, they wrote about some article related to the microplastic okay they use the keyword microplastic they started in the early year and suddenly in june they finish there's someone published about the microplastic in you know, cytometric so they they uh uh so the editor cannot accept the, that article because or uh, someone already published about microplastic previously so i advise for some uh for uh, this a webinar if you interested in writing a cytometric paper you need to check it and you need to do it quickly <laughs> if not someone okay. will publish it so so you are recommended i mean you are recommend to uh people who will write in the field so he should do it quickly right yeah. <laughs> because yeah, we need yeah. to check if if so it's the best yeah so the 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 chance will be higher than the other topics, right? If we yes, yes. you if you write the scientometrics in the field of us, uh, no one wrote about the scientometrics. Okay, thank you very much. So is there any questions? Oh sorry. Or if we if we have no questions more, we can open the camera so we can take a picture. We also provide the webinar a background so you can please 
use the backgrounds. We can take a picture. We will answer the questions after the photo station. Please, Bapak Ibu, uh, kita buka kamera. I will count. We have two screen. The first will be the first. Uh, the first will be the first screen. I will say we can uh, we can wait. <laughs> Some people are still open. Okay. Okay. Let's start. One. Two, three. Okay. For the next slide, the next screen. One, two, three. Okay. Wait, wait. Wait a minute. <laughs> One, two, three. Okay, thank you very much. So uh, I don't want to close this webinar actually because we still have a chance to, because it's, it's free. So we should ask more questions to the speakers because uh, some training is, um, is for it's not for free right dr azra <laughs> so we should um take a take a moment take this a uh, beneficial i mean we should ask more questions about this science metrics review uh pa right. Fawzan, you will ask questions no but there's question from youtube oh okay it's uh it's about the bibliometry. Yes. Yeah, Dr. Azar already uh, answered it about the bibliometry cannot generate complex data, right? Okay. Yeah, Pak Azar yeah, already yeah, yeah. answered about Yeah, yeah, Bu Giki. Yeah, Bu Giki. Mm -hmm. uh, bibliometric uh, can generate uh, more uh, complex uh, mm -hmm. Uh, result, but it depends on the the software such as uh Was Weaver or Site Space. There's a different uh, software that generated the bibliometric uh, data. So, but uh, if I'm not mistaken, the certainty is more complex because it's have a various uh, updated the 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 result. So that's the difference between bibliometric and certainty. Uh. If you ask me about the bibliometric paper and cytometric paper, the bibliometric paper uh, mostly uh, is hard to to publish because there's a most uh, general thing, general general uh, uh, view. But cytometric is more in depth uh, analysis, so most of the journal accepted the cytometric based article compared to the bibliometric. But it's all of of course it all depends on the journal itself. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I have a few friends publish about the bibliometric. Uh, I will ask them uh, if I have a few, uh, if they have any experience on that Bugiki. Okay. And if uh, anyone have a uh, keyword, uh, you can email me. We can start to collaborate to publish a few papers that I'm doing with the few researcher in Brin. So if yeah, feel, feel free to email me your article and we can start uh, uh, writing some papers together in the Google Drive. I will create the Google Drive and we will ask, we will start to chat using a WhatsApp chat. Yeah, why not? Yes, please, uh, you can write your email in the chat box or... Yes, Dr. Azra. Or we okay. can, yeah, or if anybody wants to ask questions, you can, I will put my number here. 
So yeah, you okay. can you Dr. Can Azra already Yenta. wrote. Yes. Yeah, we can contact you. No worries. Mm -hmm. After after this, and yeah, start yeah. to. Thank you very much. Uh, Bu Nur Hayati. Is there any questions or Ibu Ida? You can uh, ask questions both in English or Bahasa. Okay. <laughs> Pak Fauzan? Pa Fauzan? Yeah. Uh, maybe just one more question, Pak Azra. Okay. So now we mentioned about Biblio. So if someone have published a certain topic in Biblio analysis, does it consider a redundancy if we uh, also publish the same topic but using the scientometric analysis? Oh yeah, I got a, I got one experience on that, uh, Pak Fauzan. Uh, there's a paper about if I'm not mistaken the the adaptation of the uh, of the animals uh, the ectotherm adaptation of the animal uh, we at uh, there is a uh, authors in China published a bibliometric in uh, adaptation of ectotherm to climate change and I also just finished my writing on adaptation of ectotherm in climate change by cytometry. So I submit in the Web of Science Index Journal. The editor say that there's a one article published related to the bibliometric, and they cannot accept such uh, article that uh, in they have a redundancy in the data. So I say that I will move the bibliometric data in my article. Uh, bibliometric mean the data, the descriptive data, the authors, the article, the, the the top institution, the top countries. I remove that all and I just use the cytometric uh, data. For example, the citation burst, the dual map, dual map overlay, the geographical uh, network. That's all I, I put it and I add some uh, mini review. Uh, that's the, the, the editor said, yeah, uh, we can except such uh, such uh, uh, such uh, articles in our journals that's that's uh, my based on my own experience about Jose. okay thank you Pajana. very clear okay thank you very much for the questions it's a good questions about Pozen and if we have no questions more, or we actually, I know that our head of research center for marine and land bio industry is in a meeting with the deputy. So I would like to say thank you for the participant, for uh, Dr. Azra and for this fruitful webinar. Before we close the webinar, I would like to give the time to the MC. Thank you very much for the participant and speaker, Dr. Zainal. Okay, we'll thank you. Thank the time you. is for, yours. Okay. Thank you for moderator, Dr. Ki, and for the presenter, Dr. Arja. Nice, uh, very, very good presentation and good question for all of attended. Uh, is there a Dr. Fauzi, eh, Fahru or? Uh, no, Pak Zainal, oh, okay. eh, pa sorry. Uh, okay, I would then, like to close this webinar. Okay, thank you. Because, uh, in closing, I want to extend my graduate to everyone, present or presenter. Dr. Ajra, our attendee and our organizer. Together we make this seminar a vibrant platform for the exchange of ideas. Let us embrace this day with curiosity and enthusiasm. And may our collective effort lead to new horizon of knowledge. Thank you. And I hope to see all you again. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Let's right. applause right. for everyone. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you all. Okay.
Thank you very much, Padra and all participants. Thank you. Okay, bye. Thank you, Mbak Gigi, Pak Azra, Mas. Ya, sama-sama. Selamat malam, Wida. Ya. Terima kasih. Thanks, Mbak Kiki dan Mas Zainal. Terima kasih,